Qualitative research focuses on words, symbols, images, and other non-numerical data that describe social structures and individual experiences. It elicits ideas, concepts, and themes within a variety of theoretical frameworks. Qualitative research provides knowledge about how people act, think, and feel. Qualitative research is a flexible way to conduct research. You can collect data in several stages and can make changes as you learn new things. Qualitative data comes in many forms. Written responses from open-ended questions, quotes from interviews or focus groups, notes from observations, newspaper and magazine articles, websites, social media discussion, archival documents, and policy documents are all types of qualitative data. Qualitative research involves collecting data from carefully selected sources rather than a large and random sample. Qualitative approach requires thoughtfully and systematically collecting enough data to answer the questions. Two common ways you can collect qualitative data are by conducting interviews and focus groups. A one-on-one -on -one interview is a conversation with a participant about a specific topic. The interview may be recorded, the interviewer may take notes, or do a combination of the two. Audio recordings are often transcribed later, depending upon time and resources. Interviews can be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. A structured interview follows a standard set of questions to allow easier comparison during data analysis. It's useful when there are a number of different interviewers collecting data. A downside to this format is that interviewers are not able to ask participants follow-up questions or pursue topics that aren't planned. Unstructured interviews allow the participant to direct the conversation, such as with an oral history. Interviewers can personalize questions for each subject. One drawback is the difficulty comparing answers from each participant. Interviews can also be lengthy and require lots of time to transcribe and analyze. A semi-structured interview sits in between. The interviewer uses a guide or list of questions to examine topics during the interview. There is flexibility in when and how questions are asked so that a topic can be explored in more or less depth with each participant. Because the interviewer uses the same guide with each participant, comparing different participants' responses is easier. A focus group is a type of interview with a small number of people. It is led by a facilitator who directs the conversation and encourages participants to share their perspective and develop a deep understanding of an issue. In contrast with a one-on-one -on -one interview, a focus group gives people an opportunity for dialogue and discussion about their experiences and opinions. Focus groups are structured around a set of predetermined questions. Conversation is usually free-flowing with participants building off one another's responses. Participants should feel at ease and open to sharing their thoughts in a group. Typically, a focus group involves six to eight people and can last from 45 to 90 minutes any longer and the group is likely to become unproductive. Participants for a focus group are purposefully chosen in advance based on the research question. Perhaps participants share similar characteristics such as age, job, interests, or so on. An important consideration is whether to have similar people in the same focus group or to have people with key differences in the same group. Another question is whether people who already know each other should be in a focus group. A third consideration is to be mindful that participants' answers won't be confidential. Others in the focus group will hear the answers. So focus groups may not be ideal for sensitive topics. These matters each require careful, upfront planning. If you are facilitating a focus group, you need to prepare ahead of time and anticipate challenges. You could role play how you would handle a situation where one or a few participants dominate the discussion while other participants are left out. Or you could practice using some encouraging words to help participants expand upon their ideas. Although you may not be recording the focus group session, it's helpful to have a partner act as a note taker while you lead the discussion. At the start of an interview or focus group, you should engage in small talk with the participants to help them become comfortable with you and with the topic of the discussion. Beginning with some warm-up questions can help put people at ease. It's important that your questions be clear and well thought out. Interview questions should be open-ended and worded in a way that cannot be answered by yes or no answers. For example, if you'd like to know about the strengths of a particular neighborhood, ask an interviewee, what are some things that you like best about your neighborhood? It is important that you ask one issue or topic per question and not ask multi-pronged questions. Try also to use words that your participants can easily understand. 
Besides interviews and focus groups, there's other ways to collect qualitative data. For example, observing people in a setting allows you to see how they interact with one another and how they use a space, such as a neighborhood park. Your methods will influence the conclusions you can make. A qualitative approach results in findings that are represented in words, such as concepts, themes, and ideas. This might allow you to gain a deep understanding of an issue, but they don't provide a numerical representation of the situation. In contrast, asking how many times a month do you hike in a park in a survey would provide a quantitative answer.